Why do I love biomimicry? Hi everybody, I'm Laura Stevens. Hello, my name is Alan Wright and I was part of the Futuristas, the middle school team that took first place in last year's Youth Design Challenge. Hello, um, my name is Azita. I'm a master's student of biomimicry. Hi there, I'm Dorna Schroeder from Rhinebeck, New York. Hi everybody, Joe Pugar from Aruga Technologies in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, United States here. Aloha. I'm Lexa More. Hello everyone, this is Simar from India. Hi, my name is Scout and I'm a youth biodiversity and climate activist. Hi, I'm Chewy from Werewolf. As an educator, I love biomimicry because it's about inspiration and innovation, engagement, problem solving, collaboration, creative thinking, all of which are 21st century skills and really important educational tools. To me, biomimicry is looking at nature and borrowing its designs for plants and animals. I think biomimicry to me in one word is inspiration. I love biomimicry because it gives me hope and purpose. Biomimicry means to me looking to nature for sustainable solutions to many of the problems we are facing. Nature has so many ways and so many amazing strategies that we could potentially use if we understand them correctly and, and reapply them in our own environment and potentially change the way we live today. Biomimicry gives us one more reason to appreciate and value nature as a source of inspiration and learning. Biomimicry means the world to me because it has had like a transformational uh, impact in my life. I've always kn known nature could be useful like medicines, for example. But now I know that the inspirations and functions of nature can be used, not just the physical resources from nature. To me, biomimicry means taking nature's lead, looking to nature's blueprints and designs to optimize processes and create products in a way that minimizes their impact on the earth. It also gives us one more way to protect nature by generating technologies and solutions that are more sustainable and help our planet thrive. The reason why biomimicry is a tool for tackling climate change is that nature has spent thousands of years perfecting its designs, and nature's designs are efficient, they use the least amount of energy possible, and they do not produce polluting byproducts. I actually feel an incredible amount of relief. I am so glad not to have to pretend uh, that I have to have any of the answers, but rather that I can connect to nature, reconnect to what's really our birthright, our collective birthright, and learn from there. And it filled a hole in my heart. It filled a part of me that was endlessly curious, but also deeply eager to reconnect to something bigger than myself. My connection with nature is this idea of humility for all living things. It's also taught me a lot of um, yeah, very important lessons about my values and what's important in the world, the, the ethics or the ethos, and, and really thinking about why we're making more stuff or uh, are we just going to concentrate on making really good stuff. It doesn't matter what the age, people are fascinated by biomimicry and want to learn more. And in the process, they begin to look at the natural world very differently. Anybody that's interested can find their place on the spectrum. You know, it's literally not rocket science. That's the point. I love biomimicry because it signals an intention and dedication to shape our culture and way of living in a way that values compassion, ingenuity, balance, regeneration, and courage. It's just going outside in nature, listening to the birds and trying to find some new ones that's like that's probably my favorite part. It can change your world once you start questioning and understanding why things are structured in a certain way. It helps me understand, or at least begin to notice, how all of the genetic code for a 250-foot redwood tree can exist inside a tiny little seed. That level of deep curiosity about the world has made my life so much richer. That's why I love biomimicry.